site has already been broken into twice. Adding home security might seem like one of the last things to think about, but actually it should be one of the first. With that in mind, I've got a rather unusual surprise waiting at the village hall. So obviously security is quite an issue for you and you are worried about it, aren't you? Yeah, it is quite a big concern because if I'm away a lot, then Alana's home alone and it is in the middle of nowhere with no street lighting. It's a bit so, Blair Witch at night time. Yeah, it's is pretty it? dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go through the door. <laughs> So imagine that you're a burglar and you've just broken into the house and when you're in the house, a sensor will make this happen. OK. Right. <laughs> Last year, more than 500,000 burglaries were recorded across England and Wales. And then it'll make this happen. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so... That's what it's like being a burglar. Do you want to come out? <laughs> come on out. This security smoke is a great alternative to CCTV and alarms. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> that is just an amazing piece of kit. You can imagine as a burglar, you're going into a strange house and then something like that to happen, you wouldn't have a clue what was going on. No. If you can't see it, you can't steal it. At that time, after the robbery, um, the smoke cloak became available to jewellers where it had been tried and tested and was in a workable condition for us, creating a corridor of escape for the robbers. Uh, we immediately installed the smoke cloak, uh, which was extremely efficient using our own alarm installers uh, alongside smoke cloak, and it was all done and dusted within one day very, very efficiently. Um, Fortunately, we didn't need it for quite a while, but the following Christmas, exactly the same gang came along and they attempted to rob us again. Now, on this occasion, even though there was extremely good signage on the door, um, they came in with the guns, we activated smoke cloak, and they were gone from the shop within 14 seconds of entrance. Um, when they saw the smoke coming at them, even though it had been advertised to them, they had no idea what was happening and they ran, taking nothing with them. Uh, a fantastic success for Smoke Cloak.
change of pace now and the radical new security systems that are being used against smash and grab gangs. A unique technology stopping thieves in their tracks. Within less than 30 seconds you can't see anything. If you can't see it, you can't steal it. All they want to do is get out as quick as they can. It's the state-of-the-art security system designed to literally smoke out thieves. They brazenly smash their way into businesses, but watch as they flee within seconds, unable to see a thing. Once these have gone in, the burglary rate drops to zero. Frank Spatiri sells the Smoke Cloak, a radical security system that uses a smoke screen to stop robbers in their tracks. And when we first brought it to Australia, people sort of looked at it and said, oh, well, is this a serious security product or is this a uh, disco machine? The smoke is non-toxic and odourless. It's similar to a blanket of fog. And it's now being snapped up by businesses across Australia. We've had three break-ins uh, since we've had the technology and we've had nothing stolen because of it. Jeff Harper owns an IGA. He installed the smoke cloak after losing thousands of dollars worth of stock in smash and grab robberies. They're after the two main commodities. If it's from a break-in point of view, something that's easy, liquor and cigarettes. This is recent security footage from the store. A man has broken in through the front window, activating the smoke cloak. One goes off near the counter. He's startled by it and moves around the other side of the store towards the alcohol section. But that triggers a second jet of smoke. He's spooked and it's becoming difficult to see. He figures his best option is to get out of there as quickly as possible. He's been completely startled and I guess uh, thrown off by it. Uh, the smoke's been pouring out, doesn't give him much opportunity. Startled, sprinted out again. So you didn't take anything? Nothing. The shock and awe that these guys come into is like, what was that, right? And they just stop dead in their tracks and run away. Is there any way to beat the smoke? No, there isn't, unfortunately. Can you wear goggles? Oh, you can wear goggles, but uh, it won't do anything. It's like, imagine being in the snow and burying your head in the snow. All right, you can't see anything. <laughs> this security system activates within seconds with thick white smoke billowing from the ceiling. Now, I already can't see my feet. It's very, very thick. It's very noisy. And I tell you what, it's only been seconds and I literally cannot see a thing. That was unbelievable. I tell you what, you can't see a thing in there. And I don't think any thief is going to be stealing anything in a hurry. Well, it's given me a hell of a lot of peace of mind. Peter Michael runs a camera store in Melbourne CBD. Inside the shop is a museum with a priceless collection. The museum has got eight, eight and a half thousand items. It is quite unique in the world. There are two and a half thousand actually on display at any one time. If the glass is broken, the smoke cloak goes off. Fortunately, it's never been activated, but Peter reckons he sleeps better at night knowing it's there. So how long is it before you can't sort of see in front of yourself? About 10 to 20 seconds. So it's very quick. Incredibly quick. Each smoke cloak unit costs around five to $10,000. The bigger the area, the more units needed. But security expert Mark Byers says it's not much when you consider the millions of dollars stolen in smash and grabs every year particularly suitable product for um, high value retail, those sorts of environments where uh, irrespective of the response time, the, uh, a quick smash and grab can take a handful of product and it's a significant loss to the, uh, to the business owner. He believes the surprise element of the smoke is also an effective security trap. It's the confusion factor and it's a, it's a very good factor. Service stations are one of the biggest users of the smoke cloak. In New South Wales, these thieves smashed their way in in the middle of the night. They had their sights set on the cigarettes behind the counter. Not so easy to get to when you can't see them, though. They look at it, they go, well, am I being gassed? They're not sure what they're receiving, so their safest bet is to back out the same way they came in. Overseas, smoke cloak technology is widely used, particularly in banks and jewellery stores. These bank robbers in Brazil look particularly bewildered as they flee empty-handed. Now, with Australian businesses singing its praises, it's hoped it may put an end to the smash-and-grab robberies costing small retailers so much.